under the Controlled Substances Act and Corollary State Law, the growth, trafficking, sale, possession, or consumption of psychedelics may be a felony punishable by imprisonment, fines, forfeiture of property, or some combination thereof. Psychedelic X is for general information only. Information provided on the show does not constitute legal advice, nor does your listening to the show create an attorney-client relationship with the host. Hello, I'm attorney Gary Smith, and I want to welcome you to another episode of Psychedelic Alex, The Law of Psychedelics, my ongoing exploration of the question of the law of psychedelics. I have the pleasure of telling you all about a new study that Beckley Foundation is starting, and just about anybody can participate. I'm going to read from their website because they put it probably best. In recent years, the scientific study of meditation and psychedelic drugs has seen remarkable developments, yet few attempts have been made at bridging these two domains of inquiry despite intriguing evidence of overlap between the phenomenology and neurophysiology of meditation practice and psychedelic states. To close this gap, Amanda Fielding and the Beckley Foundation are leading a remote observational study in collaboration with Quantified Citizen, to explore the effects of regular microdosing, i.e. the practice of taking psychedelic substances, for example, psilocybin or LSD, in small sub-hallucinogenic doses on meditation practice. So, Beckley Foundation, which you might know is based out of England, is uh, constantly doing these sorts of studies, and Amanda Fielding, I don't even have to tell you who she is, original OG on this, uh, but the fascinating part is this is open to damn near anybody because it's a remote study. So let me list you the criteria here of who can participate according to Beckley Foundation's website. Do you meditate at least three times a week? Check. Are you at or above the age of majority in your place of residence? Check. Are you able to give adequate informed consent? Check. Are you... Not currently pregnant, breastfeeding, or planning to become pregnant in the next three months. Well, check, check, and check for me. Do you have secure access to a personal mobile device, cell phone, or tablet? Check. Are you willing to download an app onto your personal device and use it to complete some surveys and assessments for a period of between zero to three months? Check. Do you speak English fluently? Check. Those are the base criteria, and then it will go into the specific criteria, which includes whether or not you're microdosing, and whether or not you currently are, according to the website, you're still eligible. So, the website goes on to explain what is involved in participating in the study, and here's what it says. Involvement in this study will include completing an intake questionnaire that will take you roughly 10 minutes to fill out, a study of assessments at the beginning Uh, pardon me, let me say that again, a set of assessments at the beginning of the study, and after each month and at the end of each study for a total of four times, 20 minutes each. You will be asked to complete a daily questionnaire that will take about five to 10 minutes each day. Uh, Before you are, (laughs) I love that they had to put this on the website, but no, psychedelics will not be provided. So don't be looking to Beckley Foundation to supply you the substance. So you're going to have to source that yourself. But if you can, sure, you can participate in this study. Now, the interesting part is they especially go on to say, and this is important, you do not need to use psychedelics at any dose to take part in this study. Uh, And then the website goes on to explain how you can sign up and there's a portal you've got to go to and a place to download, etc., Um, But the point is, they are looking at sourcing this information, this data, from literally all around the world. You don't have to fly to England or to Beckley Foundation to participate. You just have to go to their website, get the data, get the app, sign up and participate. And you don't even have to engage in any kind of psychedelic use whatsoever. You simply need to be willing to meditate and answer questions. It's that simple. Uh, This is fascinating to me, and I am all in support of this, and I hope you find it fascinating too. And if you want to know more, you can go to Beckley Foundation's website at beckleyfoundation.org. That's B-E-C-K-L-E-Y-F-O-U-N-D-A-T-I-O-N dot O-R-G, beckleyfoundation.org. And you're looking for the pages that talk about their micro-meditation study. Enjoy. 
Have a question about psychedelics and the law? You're welcome to submit them. Please send your questions to admin at psychedelicalex.com. Submission of questions is not an assurance that they will be used on the show. Also, please be aware that neither the submission of a question nor a response creates an attorney-client privilege between you and the show's host, nor does an answer constitute legal advice. Information provided is for general purposes only. If you need legal counsel, you should hire competent counsel in your community. Thank you.